Hi, folks. We're back. Does he samurai slice? What does that even mean? I want to say no. More than two legs. Might have a third leg. I'm not. I'm not sure about it. We're gonna say no. Is he an ultra beast? That sounds specific. I have no idea what that means. We're say no. Larry Ogunjobi, if you didn't know, is just absolutely shredded for a D tackle. He's built like an actual tank. So if they ask me if he's built like a tank, I will say yes. Does he eat humans? I mean, t sometimes eats offensive linemen. We're gonna say no, though. Is Larry Ogunjobi a closet cannibal? I don't think so. Definitely has not won a Super Bowl playing for the Browns and the Bengals. Does he work for men.com? What is men.com, dude? I'm afraid to Google this. Men okay, so I've searched it. Men.com, not a safe website. Do not visit it. Do not go there. I hope to God he does not work for men.com. You control your character. I wouldn't want to even try. Is he chubby? No, he's just yoked. He still performs. An orange jacket. I mean, I don't think so. I'd say don't know on that. Does he wear female clothing? I don't think so. A name that sounds foreign? Larry Ogunjobi? Okay, we'll, we'll give you a yes on that. Is he nasty? Yeah, he's nasty in the trenches. But we're going to say don't know on that. Does he wear a bra? I don't think so. Has he ever had a monkey? I don't think so. I'm gonna say no. Anything to do with water? No. Stripes. I'm gonna say don't know on that. I mean, the Bengals have stripes in it, kind of, right? I don't know about this. I'm gonna say don't know. Does he wear woman's clothing? No. Spin to attack. He might have a spin move, but we're gonna say don't know on that. Is he a beautiful woman? I'm gonna say no. Definitely not a beautiful woman. Does he play Madden Mobile? I'm gonna say no. Does he resemble a tank? Yes, I said it! I said it! I was gonna answer this. Definitely resembles a tank. I'm gonna say no. Does he live with his mother? I'm gonna say no. Letter S on their uniform. I mean, they, they all do, right? Bengals, Browns. We're gonna say don't know, though, because, like, team name doesn't start with an S. Does he own a car? Don't know. Have a tail? No. Not a tight end. Link with school? No. Is he an ultra beast? No. Doesn't have a face tat. Doesn't wear blue clothes. They were so close and then they went so far away. Former criminal. Am I missing something about Larry Ogunjobi here? I'm gonna say no. Mostly orange, yes. Short hair, mm, probably not. Short haired, probably not. Wear a lot of blue, still no. Often in a bad mood, no. Link to an animal. The Bengals now, yes. Long flowing hair. Uh, probably not. Is he from the promised Neverland? What, Peter Pan? No, we're Brian Burns. Is he made of grass? Yeah, he's a, he's a human that is made up of completely grass. What is that question? On Bradley Bozeman was a big time addition. He's only rated as a 73 here. He's a 74. Also looks like, oh, I don't know. 70 years old. <laughs> he doesn't look 70. He looks like he's, uh, he probably is like 43, is pursuing a career in stand up comedy. He's kind of got that look to him. Okay, this, this could actually be a really big problem here. Okay, thank you. That would have been a, a really huge problem. Is he. Uh, is this Poltergeist? What is happening? I gotta dispose of this body. Goodbye. Russ good? If Russ good at football, that would be good for me. We're about to climb off this. We're about to, uh... Dive into the bush. And that's what we're about to do right after when we visit Christina as well. Here we are. Christina! Hey, Christina! Who's that? Let me hit! Me. Oh, it's you! I should have known! May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. That's all I need. That's all I need. Oh, all right. This guy, he knows. Wait, all right. Uh, it came out wrong. Oh, this is this is a little too hot for Twitch. I might get banned. Hold on a second. Oh, it is this too hot for Twitch? <laughs> we got to be careful here. 
I don't do it. I don't know if I want to be pressing Y. Oh, I know who lives here. Pretty famous guy. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son. This is the actor, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Dude, imagine your dad just tells you, hey, go get a message from a pigeon coop. It's it's around. Oh, I, I get it done. How about some information, Giovanni? How about, one, why do you, do you have messages at pigeon coops? Feels a little bizarre. And then two, it's like maybe some information on where the pigeon coop happens to be. All of these would be would be very helpful to know. He's like, oh yeah, it's a pigeon coop nearby. As if that's not the a vague description. Oh, he's got a sleeve. I have a delivery from Giovanni Auditore. Yeah, yes. that's exactly what he's followed. I don't no. think so. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. That's what she That's said. Father, that Let's get you off to bed, big guy. He's all tuckered out. He's had a long day. Nothing to see here. This is my son. His name's Brian. Alright, let's pick something a little bit more Italian. -made. This is uh, Vinny! It's Vincenzo. I could never okay. Okay, we got moves, Kevin! We got moves! Kevin Jones Gold! We did it on Hall Madden! Let's go, Kevin! Dude, I feel like the mom from Home Alone screaming Kevin uh, when they realize they left him at home when they're at the airport. Which, first of all, bad parents. Like, I know you got a lot of kids, but, like, make sure you got them all, I think, is a good idea. I'm no parent myself, right? I got a cat. That's, like, the same thing. A moment of your time. A moment of my time? Hey, all you... What is this dude doing? Stop a moment. I would like a word with you. Aspetta, Messere, stop. Come, sir. Just a quick word. A quick word. Stop a moment. I would like a word with you. What is he? Oh, you want a word with the wall? A moment of your time. Please, sir. I'd like a word with you. Come, sir. Just a quick word. Well. Yeah, I think we, we put him out of his misery. Clearly wasn't the, uh, the brightest bulb in the lamp. Subscribe to my YouTube, by the way. Also, follow the stream if you want to see me more rage like this when I fucking put pictures of Eli Apple on the wall and punch a hole through Eli fucking Apple. Words, like, uh, fuck, fuck. But man... If you jump, I feel like that's incomplete. And he goes, this was his jump. That's not a jump. That looks like the worst dive into a pool I've ever seen. What are you doing? Field goal. Huh? What's happening in this game right now? Injury timeout. Beck is out. Down for the tit Titans. Broncos. I'm, I'm having a stroke. Madden's having a stroke. I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> what is happening? If everyone stays healthy in this game for the Ravens, I don't think we're going to see a blowout. Three hours later. But that's the game. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, man. That's probably the worst AFC championship you're ever going to see. That was, a, that was a super disappointing product. This was not even a game at all. And I'm not sure what's changed. Lamar Jackson just kept throwing it to us. Ideal world, you get like two top ten picks. Okay. Who are the guys you're hoping the Giants target in this draft? I think you have to at least consider quarterback. It, it's very tough for me to give you a QB right now because I'm not convinced mm -hmm. on Spencer Rattler, Sam Howell, Malik Willis, Karsten Strong, JT Daniels. You could name a bunch of different QBs. People are going to say, well, Keaton Slovis. No, Keaton Slovis <laughs> is not good. You know, there, but there are a number of different guys, obviously, right? I can't give you a course, quarterback. I can tell you the two players that I think would help out the Giants the most given, you know, two top 10 picks, depending on where they fall. Kayvon Thibodeau out of Oregon, a game-changing edge rusher, like a Chase Young type, would be huge for the Giants, who could have been in position to draft Chase Young, and they won a meaningless game to miss out on him, and they took Andrew Thomas at four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and speaking of Andrew Thomas, Evan Neal at tackle. Evan Neal, I think, is the biggest name right me or right now for me 
for the Giants, the Alabama left tackle. He's six foot seven, three sixty, something like that, and he is a freak athlete. It's like an even better prospect than Makai Becton, and Makai Becton was a freak athlete. Evan Neal's even more technically sound with experience starting at multiple different offensive line positions. Look out for Evan Neal. Every, like If you know about Evan Neal, it's like this is not a, a shock, but yeah, Evan Neal, Kayvon Thibodeau. Those are the two names I would circle right now. Many months later. With the fifth pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York football giant select, Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive end, wow. Oregon. In the 2022 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Evan Neal, tackle, Alabama. You're just kind of hoping to see it all pan out for the teams that you are kind of rooting for. Like, I, I like the Bengals, but I'm not a Bengals fan. I like, you don't like Joe me? Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a fan of Bengals? You know what I mean. That's up for discussion. No, I'm just kidding. I called so, it going so. in. I, I thought uh, Florida could pull the upset off, but like I was like, that's only if they play Anthony Richardson, and they did it. Like, I was, Injury. I was pretty upset. They said. So they yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also yeah, did that. a back handspring before the game started, exactly. so it's like, how injured <laughs> could he have been? He's like, yeah, yeah I'm injured, but I'm also going to do a backflip. And you go, what? Mm. It's so short. That's massive. That is so large. He didn't blow it. You're bigger and better. Everything's big with Alvin Kamara. Let me get Noah Williams turned on. I need to see some big ones. Whoa, that's a sack. I gotta wait. Oh, I can't wait because Miles Garrett is down my throat. I need a shower after that one, dude. That was horrific. There's just, there's just nothing there. Oh my God. This was amazing, but it's also like a little spicy in my throat right now and we're struggling. Jalen Ramsey is going to be a thing that we, uh, we look to do next week. You don't have that size. You're never going to have that size. But like an inch or two really matters in some cases. 